You are now tuned into Black on Black Prime. Prime. Um, disclaimer, like I said, every uh, episode, we don't care if we liked it or not. We still watch your shit and congratulations to you. We support you. And uh, shout out to you, nigga, because you, you made it. We don't know you. We're watching this. Your movie. Anybody around the world can watch your shit. You made it, my nigga. You famous. You good. Just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she don't like that nigga. Who? Cool. <laughs> what, anyway. what are you talking anyway. about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Anyways, man, welcome. We back. <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, when you look at the profile, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyways, oh, okay. we back with another one. <laughs> back with another one. This is uh, new on Tubi. It's called uh, Immortal City Records. Oh. Uh. With a... <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wrote down dude's name because I, I, I've always liked him as a uh, as an actor. Ron Rico Lee? Yeah, I've always liked him as an actor. Um, that nigga... Uh, since I want to say since uh what was the first sister, thing I seen sister this? sister that I don't think that was the first thing I seen him in though uh I don't remember but anyways everything I everything I seen him in he like he's like one of them cool actors like he be like lightweight sarcastic he could be funny serious everything yeah he was, like, he was he was funny serious in this one yeah he was um pretty much he holds the ranking of low budget films uh, as far as the uh. He's the he used was starring in my favorite low budget film, is what I mean to say. Uh jacked up. Yeah. That's ironic too. Yeah, he was the main <laughs> character. So Yeah. He like he's good at what he does. But anyways, this movie is about him. At first I thought he was the the owner of the record company, or just the owner of the record company, but he's mm-hmm. supposed to be like a popular rapper. Uh a popular rapper. Say uh he, he's like living his life. His wife is uh D Woods from from uh What's that? Uh, what's Diddy's group, the female group? Danity Kane. Danity Kane. And if you didn't tell me that, I wouldn't have known that shit just now. I didn't know it till my wife told me. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it ain't like I just knew off top. I, I came in here like it was a fact I knew. How about say, <laughs> my nigga's a fan of Danity Kane, man. <laughs> and they got slaps. And I hate how you get on here and start doing this. <laughs> Damn it. <I'm... laughs> they got slaps. Nigga. But uh, anyway, so that's his wife. And it's oh, like man. you get this. So they hire this new assistant. It's like you get a weird vibe off top. <laughs> uh, get a weird vibe off top, and then uh, it's like you, I guess so. The, the the mystery is what the fuck is going on? Because then you find out the old assistant is missing, and everybody knows about it in the house. As far as the the maid, the the gangsta ass butler, uh, him and his wife, like everybody knows, but nobody's saying nothing. Yeah, yeah. The um. The vibe I got in the beginning with, uh, you know, with old girl trying to, like, like as soon as it came in, I'm just like, all right, like, you know, like how we were saying before, like, this is, that kind of reminded me of Empire starting off, you know yeah. what I mean? It's just like that, that one character, um, but it wasn't a family, I guess, you know what I mean, on, on this one, because Empire is just about the family and their, um, their crazy ways. This is a, a woman, like, you know, I guess just trying to get her life together, trying to find her uh, her voice because she's a singer as well. And uh, <laughs> hella funny, hella funny how we really find out she's a singer because yeah. she's getting coffee. Somebody right. walked by, dead silent. It ain't like the building empty. She just started blowing by the coffee machine. Right. So it's like you know, that's just like one of those. Uh, you could tell like soon as she got up in there. Like I guess if you're a, uh, what do they call a temp or assistant? You know what I mean? I feel like all of them have like, uh, they have a motive or whatever, you know what I mean? They're to go and be a part of these companies. Like, I don't really want to get nobody's coffee. Like, I'm a rapper. Or I'm a singer. You know what I yeah, mean? But I'll do it for now. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, you go in thinking like, shit, I'm just here to make connections. And I, I, that's what I felt like she was doing at first. Yeah. I, I thought, I feel like that's what, yeah. I would say at first until... Until she she fell in love with the life, I guess, and she fell in love with old boy as well. Uh, with T Strong, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it started. It started off like that. It kind of came in, you know, hot with that. You know what I mean? Because he hollered at her or whatever uh, when she walked in. Yeah, she's like, oh my, she's a fan of his actually too. So, yeah, like it, it, she wasn't as uh, much of a fan as she was of uh, uh what was the eight eight eight. She yeah, wasn't, she wasn't as much as a fan as eight, but you could tell she was a fan. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> like at first I thought he was just gonna be the um the producer or the, the you know what I mean the Suge Knight of the whole thing and then he's in the studio like you know <laughs> <laughs> I was just like damn so I was like here we go <laughs> and I, 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 I did dip, laugh lit, yeah. lit, lit. <laughs> I'm the shit shit I laughed too because I thought the same thing because it, it only because he's older so yeah. you would assume like it, and then like his his presence was more like a I'm just the boss around here so you get you get that scene and then he hitting little melodies and shit like ah, ah. I don't remember what the fuck he was singing, but like I said, it's it's, <laughs> it's just it's weird because it, it didn't look like that was supposed to be what he was supposed to be doing. It looked like he was, I mean, but I guess that's what the angle that was going for because you could tell he was damn near washed up. Yeah, he was like that old artist that you know he had got, I guess contributed to a lot of other artists' success, and he was making his comeback. And uh, yeah, and he decided to say we dip dip and we lit lit. <laughs> Cause I'm the shit, 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 shit. It was that funny. Shit's hilarious. It was that, funny that shit. Old boy was just like, "Yeah, this ain't it." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "What, nigga? You telling me this ain't it? Like, you telling me I ain't hot? You said you telling me my shit ain't good? Every time, every time a nigga talk to you like that, he finna beat your ass. <laughs> that nigga was on some Ike Turner shit. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Hey, and and honestly, that that producer dude needed his ass whooped. So before that, before that, um, you see Kelly. Yeah, he's yeah. in the studio all in his wife here. Like, yeah, you know, I used to get at you like that. I'm like, nigga, do you know where you at? Yeah, that, and that, she was, she was serving him too. Like, like yeah, and like leaning over and shit. Like, mm -hmm. nah, get the fuck out. Yeah, that part was actually pretty funny she because left for, she left for two minutes. Wait, go ahead. You said she left for two minutes and came back <laughs> with nothing. Yeah, like I said, go give me some food. She left two minutes, came back with nothing. Nigga, that shit was funny because as soon as like he didn't even see it, but I guess he felt the presence of like somebody doing something to his wife or whatever because he didn't have a you know the little button in the studio that you push to talk to the person that they can hear you. Like yeah. he in there talking to her, like, yeah, you know, you know, used to do me like that or whatever. This nigga Rico Lee. He, <laughs> he looking out the studio <laughs> window. He, he look out the studio window like he heard, dude. But he was like, All right. <laughs> he said, All right. Hey, you, you know what's funny? I I didn't even think about that, cause when he's talking, he's just looking out there mm -hmm. while he's talking to them. Yeah. I'm not even putting the focus on the fact that they can hear him, but he can't hear them. Right. Cause, cause when he's talking out there, he's like, "Can I? Do I need a break? Uh, or what he say? Not need a break? He was like, he said something like, "Can I work?" And yeah. she responded like, "No, nah, it's all right. Just keep doing your thing." Right. Then, you uh, it's like you gotta push the button. Yeah, but uh, it was like they didn't push the button until the girl was coming in. Cause he told her like come in, and then he pressed the button like she on her way in. I was like, wait, y'all had a whole conversation. <laughs> he can read lips, man. That's what it is. Let's just assume he can read lips. That's it. <laughs> um. So going going into uh the missing person story. Um. So that that's that's when I was just like, okay, like this is like I was waiting for that. Uh, the whole movie, I feel like um that part because i felt like it was going to take a, a huge turn and i didn't know what really happened like i know they had something to do with it but i thought they were going to do more with that storyline um about the missing girl and who she was yeah. like if she was somebody you know important i don't know whatever the case was i thought it was going to be more like with a detective because the detective he was in one time and you didn't see him no more until like the end yeah and and if you approach me with the last assistant is missing i'm i quit yeah, especially if you don't want to talk about it, like the little Jamaican uh maid, I think, which was hella what she, random. Which she's um, Jamaican, a part time Jamaican. Yeah. That <laughs> accent was fading in and out, nigga. Like, <laughs> You're like, come on, look at, look at me, look at. Me. <laughs> she was like, come <laughs> on, look at me. It's gonna be a good time. Like, what? <laughs> which one are you? <laughs> yeah, she was on some sneaky shit too. Uh, it seemed like you know she was trying to hide their uh their dirt and what was going on, but you know, I guess she took a liking to old girl. 
And she was telling her that I was, you know, yeah. hey, like mind your mind your business, you know what I mean, and, and you'll be good. I'm just like, yeah, y'all treat. First of all, y'all treat each other bad in this bitch, yeah. and it's somebody, <laughs> and it's somebody missing. I don't want to work here no more. <laughs> that just, just let you know she was willing to do anything for her success, and it was funny yeah. because because she acted like she was just like holier than thou, like the whole beginning, and then yeah. you know, yeah. I'm not one of those girls, you know. Then she proceeds to get you know her draws beat in the studio, you know. <laughs> like you see, dude, she was he was like, look, I he was like, man, why you think this of me or whatever? She was just like, I'm not one and not your groupie or whatever. And then he, he picked, picked her, her up, up, put her yeah. put her on the studio uh desk. I was like, now you are. <laughs> you are. Her up. I said, she was like, how many girls you invite over? Like one, my mom. That's a good enough answer. She believed this this platinum rapper. She believed that nigga. But she didn't believe nothing else he said after that, though. That, that, she, <laughs> that, 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 she, was, she cared about that nigga foul every time. Like, why you didn't tell me about the audition? Like, you know, I don't know. Somebody <laughs> moved it. I don't believe you. Like, you believe his mama lives with him, but you don't believe nothing else. Like, no. uh, so the, the movie set. In my mind, the movie set me up for something worse than what it was. And and I feel like that kind of bothered me because um even after I knew he was the one to trash her apartment to get her move to move in with him. So I thought like, it was that, the wife at first. Oh no, I knew it was him. Like okay. I, I could tell the I could tell the wife didn't so there was a certain point where you could tell the wife is kinda uh trying to force her away, trying, trying to push her away. Because the wife was already mean, but then the the shit she would say, it'd just be like, get get the hell out of my house. Yeah, it's like she's she's purposely saying shit to try to get her to quit, so you can see that angle of it. Right. But uh, um, when she moved in and the 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 Jamaican part time Jamaican nurse took her to the room and she was like, "Why are these locks outside the door?" Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Oh, that's for security." Uh, some bullshit she made up. Yeah, they didn't use that. They didn't use it. You I thought that. she was gonna be trapped in here. Yeah, I, I, that's what I thought it was too. I thought it was you talking about it's a panic room. I'd have been like, yeah, if I if the doors can lock from the outside and I'm inside, I don't want to be there. How's that a panic room? Yeah, because the other person can unlock it <laughs> or lock your ass in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was it, it was a dumbass angle, but they never used it. Like they, she never felt trapped to me. She never she never felt like she can't leave. She kind of came and went as she pleased. Yeah, yeah, literally. It it never felt like it never felt like you have to. Besides them saying you can't leave the label, other than that, it was like you you can leave whenever you want to. Yeah, yeah. So I I felt like they set something up with that, but then they just didn't use it. Him watching on the camera, he just watched her to get butt naked. I I thought it was gonna be like lock her in there, watch her like she's like she's fucking captured. Yeah, and that was another thing that uh, it's not that I didn't understand it, but it was kind of like a weird because it's like i don't i didn't look at him as a creep versus he was just like a you know a a, a bipolar man that was you know super possessive um over his women but it didn't look like he was a creep right because i was like he never really tried to have sex with her the whole time if you think no not really it's like he had that attraction but he never acted on it and he even like so normally when somebody so if he was so supposed to be so deeply like um infatuated by her then it would be only her that, that he focused on he yeah. like when they went to the club she showed up with her little thick ass cousin he like grabbed on her cousin like let's yeah. take the picture it was like uh, uh he didn't give me like you said he didn't give me the angle of this nigga's crazy and he's in love with her so much that she can't leave and she can't do this it wasn't even that because he wasn't even uh he, he gave t some dirty looks but it wasn't like a don't, don't be her boyfriend right yeah he was he was definitely a hater he was definitely a hater you know what I mean? She yeah. was she was like, Yeah, I might come over. You know what I mean? Talking to him, he was just like, Hey, we got a studio session, you know what I mean? You wanna jump on the record or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> you can stay and with that me. nigga looked at T and said, You know we go all night in this mother. <laughs> hey, that was cold. That was a fucked up ass move. <laughs> He's like, All right, fam. I was just like, Yeah, I'm out of here, man. Is, like I, I felt the death row vibes of this. I felt like they took a piece of like that that feeling that I guess uh, in the documentaries they say is just like man, it's like you was there, but it's like yeah, it was just the whole time you was there it was just like a nightmare. You know what I mean? It's like you just want to get your record out. <laughs> this nigga take you off of a song and shit. It's like they doing their show. This nigga was like, you remove my verse, like like yeah, <laughs> gotta pay your dues, nigga. Like what? Like what are we, what are we doing? I'm your only hey. artist. I'm your that's that nigga only artist. 
he always uh i just like that every time it was a problem he had to hold a security guard back but he'd be talking hella nice yeah like what you is there you got an issue with it or something that's, that's how security had a cold backhand <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he had the coldest backhand nigga i didn't see that coming she was like wait 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 blah oh no you talking about big lurch that's a yeah. that's the the butler Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about uh, that nigga the whole time. You're talking about uh, just, just just regular security people. Every time he had security guards, they was ready to beat ass. Whatever yeah. dude, whatever T says something, they'd jump up. That nigga hold him back like, no, no, no. So what, what, you saying my shit is whack? Are you... <laughs> it's just like, yo, yeah, because it's like on some real shit. It's like, yo, I ain't scared of you, nigga, but these two niggas right here with the guns, <laughs> a little bit different. And, uh... Hey, you know it was hilarious? When, uh, when the wife was going off, she threw all them dresses in the pool. <laughs> And that nigga uh, showed sweet. up, she was swimming. Yeah. I felt like she, at, at first, since I didn't know what her character was, I thought she was just being like a bitch the whole time. When he pushed her in the, uh, the pool, I enjoyed that part. That, hey, so that, that uh, I don't know if you ever watched the old school Love and Hip Hop with Ray J. Yeah. That, I, that's I, how I the like, nigga Ray J pushed his wife in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see Love and Hip Hop like the episodes, but I, that clip was viral. Yeah, the clip. <laughs> that nigga stepped to the side and gave it a little that little nudge. It was the same way that nigga grabbed that drink with one hand and tossed it with the other. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. Yeah, I, I thought she deserved that at that point. Hell yeah. I was like, swim. Because <laughs> she was in there like... A lot of the shit she was doing, you could tell. Like I said, because they never explained what happened to the other assistant. But at some point, you could see she felt bad about it. So she, was uh, okay, trying to, yeah. she was trying push to push on. her away. So all the shit she was doing was like any other regular black girl would be like, oh, fuck that. I ain't getting no fucking pool. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you, you got me fucked up. But she just wouldn't do it. Yeah. That, you're right about that. Uh, Her feeling a certain way the whole time. Because at first, it didn't click in until later on. But in the beginning, I thought that she was just a part of it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. but because she was, I think up until she was like kind of sitting in front of the fireplace, burning pictures and crying. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was just like, okay, like, this is something deeper than that. That's when I was just like, okay, I'm waiting for this to take a big turn. Like, you know what I mean? Was this, you know, shit, their daughter or, you know what I mean? Like, did she did she play a bigger role in their life versus just like, oh, it's an assistant that we had to take out. It's like, they didn't give us uh, any backstory to why until very late. Yeah, so I got the, so I got the feeling. So once they mentioned the assistant, like I said, when they said she was missing, I just left. But but I got the feeling that he had uh, feelings for the assistant by how she was acting when she first got hired. The way she was like, anything she tried to do for him, she was like, hell nah, I got it. Nah, you go your, take your ass over there. Yeah. It seemed like at that point, she was just like keeping her away from him. But I think she got scared when, uh, when what's her name was like, this box and had no names on it. You said, don't touch the one with no names. And then she started burning the pictures. Yeah. From that point on, she was trying to, trying to get her to quit. Yeah. Yeah, it was like yeah, from yeah. that because I want to say the next the next scene with them two together was the food and she was like you ordered that food and she was like hell no nah. she threw it away and told her to get the hell out the house. I'd have been like I would ate that. <laughs> 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 but she was trying to push like purposely push her away and it just wasn't working. I I kind of wish they would have. Did you catch? So so my wife heard they on the you know to do the news report at the end of the movie. And it was like this lady was found, this lady and an unknown unknown lady. Yeah, it was three. It was two other assistants. Two other assistants. Well, not two plus the last one, but that one and then another one. So it was her, the main assistant, the one, the one from the movie we watched, the missing one, and another mm -hmm. one, and another one. Yeah. God damn. It was like he that was his like third assistant, pretty much, and they have been often assistants, pretty much. But that they was, were all there still. Yeah, they were on our premises. What like they, the like they, I don't know if they buried them in the backyard or in the closet, but yeah, they was there still. That nigga, that was one cold ass line when that nigga said, "Look, if you don't cooperate, you gonna share a grave with her." <laughs> I was down. Like, that shit was hella calm and creepy. I was just like, that nigga said, said, <laughs> "You gonna share a grave? You could, you could either do this, or you could share a grave with her." I was like, "Whoa, hold on, brother." Because first she said, first he said, all right, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna tell him. Look, she slipped and she fell. Yeah. She was like, I can't do that. She stood up. She was like, he was like, I told you she wasn't gonna go for this. So he's like, there's a, there's an option B. Yeah. We're gonna dig the grave. You are gonna go in there with her. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I like that part. That, that, that part uh, moved me. <laughs> <laughs> so where they messed up with that, with that is with the bodies being on the premises. This is supposed to be a new house. 
they were supposed to have other houses. Because mm. remember the the whole big the whole part where they moved in, and she was like, "Yeah, hang all of the stuff up, uh, unpack these boxes." And yeah. when she asked the Jamaican lady, the Jamaican lady was like, "Yeah, this is just one of their houses. They have other houses." Well, so, they didn't. They didn't. All they also didn't say. They just said, you know, they found the body. They didn't say they found it on. Okay. The I'm, I'm assuming they found it on the premises because you okay. know uh, how fast it went. But yeah, it could have been anywhere. They probably just found. They could have just found him because if you think about it, um, old girls, uh, you know, his wife snitched, so she probably told him where it was at. That too. Yeah. That too, because she told everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, this uh, what was that? What scene was that when um? So it was one scene, right? Uh, I, it just went really fast. He was showing old boy the phone, and it was Kelly beat up. But was it a video on that? Because it was just like this. This, shit went, this shit went viral or whatever. Like who posted that clip? I'm like, what clip? So okay, so that I think that's where uh, because you always catch it like that. I think that's where the editing. I think I think they filmed that scene without nothing on that phone, and it was supposed to be a clip in there. But mm. I think they edited it later and just put some pictures on there. Okay, yeah, I was. They like, showed him put no video. Yeah, because I was sitting there wondering. I was like, okay, what clip are they talking about? Who told what? You know what I mean? Like, what's yeah. going on? Because I I knew, oh boy, got beat up by him. Yeah, you know what I mean. When no, he showed up with fun. when he showed up with the black eyes, um, so that that was already evident. But the video, I'm like, okay, what's? I saw first of all the blog post. I guess when he was like, man, they got me looking like a bitch out here. They showed that video. <laughs> Hey, that shit was like, when he talked about the Kelly, though, that nigga said, look at that nigga. He was like, yeah, they didn't see my face. Damn, I should have took some pictures. I was like, this nigga's stupid. But for the most part, I feel like dude did a good job, uh, Ron Rico Lee. Um, very, very believable as a um, an obsessive, low-key, bipolar-ass uh, producer. Like, he was a mixture right. of, like a, like, a Suge Knight and Diddy together. Like, if they was two people. I mean, if that was right. one person. So maybe the issue is because even with when you said Suge Knight and um, Diddy. Well, Diddy is different, but with Suge Knight, he's venomous to to no ends. Mm -hmm. So it, in here, it seemed like a lot of the times he he held himself back. Like he was even he she was able to calm him down when he's going through his little episode. To his wife, right? Yeah, yeah. Suge Knight would have been like, "No, nah, you can't calm this nigga down. Like he gonna beat your ass and her ass if you get in his way." That's why he said, that's why I said he like the mixture of Diddy. Like Diddy's more uh subtle with his venom. In a, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I see that. Yeah. I see that. But it is like you said, he still did his job. It just it it came off kind of sometimes it just came off kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. That nigga's hilarious. Um <laughs> that's that song that they had on there, um the the hook, that should have been in my head all night. Uh, my my wife wanted to hear it again after the movie went off. <laughs> yeah. as, as a as a person that used to do music, like just hearing the like, well, don't get me wrong, the raps was just, just ass, ass back <laughs> trash. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but the hook with the girl on it and them singing yeah. it together, I was like, yo, this shit. That's what made me think of like an Empire song because Empire, even though it was a cringe ass show, hey, the yeah. first two, if the first two bangers. seasons of the Empire had some hard ass songs on it. Man, I got I was, them on Spotify right now. I was about to say the same shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they have some, <laughs> some good shit. The raps was kind of like whatever, but I was like, yo, they have some little hits on here. Like, we never yeah. put this together. But, uh, yeah, I fucked with that uh, that hook. Um, that shit been in my head all night. <laughs> good she job like, we wrote that shit. Yeah, it was, it was one excuse. Like, because uh, they played it at the end, but, the, you know, they cut the girl voice, the girl mm -hmm. verse at the end. Yeah. He was hella mad. Like, I don't want to hear that shit again. <laughs> I say probably you probably D Woods wrote it. Probably. I didn't know she hey, was in this movie. I didn't know she was an actress, so I don't know if this is her first movie, but she did damn good if this is her first time acting too. She did. She she played uh what's it called? Um 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 like I guess a jealous type of uh kept wife. Mm -hmm. she, she, you know what I mean? Somebody that's just I guess playing the game. She was just like, I'm just you know, I'm rich. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm doing my thing out here. Like, I don't care what he do. I was like, damn, you want to rich that bad? Your cousin was a goddamn murderer. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted it bad, boy. I swear <laughs> uh, one, one more thing. Uh, did you, what, what did you think about T Strong's character? Because I felt like he was a, uh, <laughs> don't laugh. Hold on. Don't laugh. Um, for some reason, I just did like his, 
who he was in this movie didn't cap like it just didn't hold me like his his character right i don't know what it was it was something about him i was just like this nigga's it's almost like he's a main character but he's not <coughs> mm-hmm. and like <laughs> and they was like he would you know he was in there or whatever like he would just say like certain shit like that would like buy like him his little entourage they would be in the studio and they would be just like yo clear the room Hey, that nigga kicked him out every time they was in the scene. <laughs> every time. Yeah, that nigga be like, hey, y'all, give us some space. It's like, that nigga just get up like, man, fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, like, he didn't do a bad job of acting or nothing. He just didn't, uh, uh, man. It was just something about that nigga. And I was just like, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying, I was trying to put my finger on it. Um, but he seemed more like... Um, like kind of like you know the people that kind of like an extra or whatever you know what I mean like if that makes sense I don't know not an extra because extras don't say nothing but he seemed like kind of you think, a, you think his presence wasn't as big as it was supposed to be he didn't yeah. he didn't have the he didn't have the presence of a nigga that's supposed to be a big time rapper presently right yeah it just like even when he like his music like you know you never really heard it and it's like when you did I was like e like I was like this is <laughs> like, like yeah, yeah. he had so that he, little he had that little verse <laughs> on like remember at the end he had the little verse he was like that man is dying and man is dying. <laughs> then she jumped right into the hook I was like yo that was 16 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he, he had the presence of a um uh so if so if, if he if he was in a group if he was in like an immature he would be the nigga playing the drums, mm-hmm. like, like he had that. that presence like like he's 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 there but he ain't a big deal like that. That's not yeah. his his personality and his his character wasn't as he didn't he don't command the attention of a big time rapper. Right, and and the and the starring person like the the late the lead lady's love interest, you know. Yeah. It just didn't seem like it. Now that ain't no diss. It's just it just didn't seem like it could have been a part of the, his writing. You know, what I mean, his dialogue in the film. I just, yeah, I it wasn't. Sold. It's, it seemed like he should have been uh instead of instead of being the multi platinum, he should have been trying to get on, like her. Like yeah, both. it would. It, it, he had that energy. Like I'm trying to get somewhere. He didn't have the energy to be like I can just take my music over here. I'm I'm already platinum. But that's what he was supposed to be. He was supposed to already be a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he didn't have the energy of that. Right. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <You ready>? <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's get into these ratings of uh, Immortal City Records. Is it Immortal City Records? It's Immortal Immortal City Records. Immortal City Records. Yeah, you, um, you want me to go first? No, I'll run it. Uh, I'm a, I, it's, it's like a, Hey, don't do that across the board shit either. If no, all no, your no. ratings is the same, you better, my wife got on me for that. What happened? What she <laughs> said? You said, hmm, across the board. I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> oh, so that don't, was that? That don't, <laughs> that, that, that don't translate that don't well? count, man. You got to do all the hmms. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Understood. <laughs> um, so I didn't think about it until just now. So that's why I'm like, uh, right, right, right. right, right. 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 And right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Three rights in a right. Right. And you, and you changing the channel? No, nah, I'll run that shit back, honestly, only because I want to see, like, you know how you did that first watch? I felt like I missed parts. Or I didn't catch things, especially with the. the uh, let, me get, oh, I, let me get my ready first. Oh my bad, brother. Before you go into your detail, <laughs> bad brother. Your finger out my face. That nigga said, "Don't clap in my face, man." That nigga did it anyway. <laughs> uh, so I give it a right, 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 right. Hmm. And uh. I- Honestly, I wouldn't change the channel. I, I like you said, it's like it's a background movie. Like you just let it rock. You ain't complaining. Yeah, like the the presence of old boy. I was telling you, too strong or whatever. Like I want to see. Maybe I just missed his dialogue. Maybe he was, you know, he said some. Maybe I just didn't catch it. You know, what yeah, I mean? he, he he just didn't give off the. 
he didn't give off the personality of somebody who's already there. He gave off the personality of somebody who's trying to get somewhere. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't the right energy for that role. Like um like I said, if if they would have just wrote it as if he's coming up, write write it as if you're taking your demo somewhere else. Write it write it like that or 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 uh make the story like that. That would make it make more sense. Yeah, because like to my for, for mine, uh the my exclamation writers production, write for acting, write for uh writing and hmm, for story. Only because uh I feel like they didn't take it where they made it seem like they were gonna take it. As far as the story goes. Yeah, like I, I fuck with the story, but just like you said, like that's why I gave it it was it was good. It wasn't a, a full right, like a, mm. a great, you know what I mean? Like it was it was good. But just like you said, I felt like it could have been great if they would have did more with that missing character. Like if that would have right. been yeah. I feel like that 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 took it down a notch from the the big right. For me. It's a, it, it gave you the feel of uh <laughs> like when you watch the next Friday or Friday after next when they're like what happened to the last security guards and you never find out what the fuck happened to the last security guards like why we keep talking about it then why we keep showing this girl if we ain't gonna do nothing with it right 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 and then she don't have like she's just another assistant you know what I mean there was nothing about her that was like they weren't connected to her in any way you know she wasn't yeah, yeah it, it just like you said I felt like if they would have done that I would have definitely gave it uh, a right, a, a mm. hardcore right. Um, mm. But uh, writing, like I, like I actually dug the writing, um, the dialogue between you know, the, yeah, the writing was good. Yeah, I, I, I fucked with that, and then you know, the production. Only thing that the only only slight to the production, but it don't take it down a lot. I just got tired of them with the aerial view of the house. Like that was the only thing that was bothering. I was just like, yo, if y'all show this motherfucker top of the house one more time, we know where y'all at, nigga. <laughs> like that's enough. They but, did keep showing that motherfucker. Like, look at this big ass house. This is where we at. But I, but I did like their uh, uh, um, what they call it, the, the director of uh, photography. Um, whoever that was, the, uh, the uh, whoever the editing, like the transitions was was yeah. like nice and crisp. You know what I mean? Like the overall production quality of the movie. Like I'm, I'm not like a, like I might seem hardcore on it sometime. Like it's just it's either good or bad though. Like you can tell when motherfuckers right. just like yo, hey, that nigga just did that shit on the iPhone, nigga. And they, <laughs> like, they didn't give no thought and put no money into these cameras so it's just like you know as long as your your cuts are good you know transitions are smooth for me and your camera quality is top notch for me to not turn the channel like yeah i'm not gonna sh i'm not gonna shit on it like i feel like most reviewers like they'll be on some shit like that like okay like it did that make you not want to watch the movie you right, don't I mean? be nitpicky and just be an asshole. Get some positive feedback. Right, right. Like I, I'm, I was good with the production enough. Like I felt like they, like there was location situations. I felt like to where they could have been. Like when he was doing his first show, I was just like, "Yo, there's nobody here." <laughs> but then on other scenes, I was just like, "They got the whole club pack." So it was just like, yeah. you, know, you could tell that was an issue. Like, they tried to make it seem bigger than it was. But I mean, I, I feel like that's just that's most movies probably. But you know, it, it, but I'll say this though, as far as the story goes, that not being there, not being a lot of people there, made sense for his character because he's trying to he's Get trying back. to regain a new audience. Yeah. So so not being packed made sense for for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That'd be like a I don't want to say no rappers' names, but I'd be like an old school rapper, like I got my new album coming out, and you'd be like, nigga, why? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, come come on down, I'm doing my showcase. You'd be like, nigga, I'm not going. Like I'm good, brother. Um, yeah, unless you're a super diehard fan that just want to hear him rap. Right, like tape it, tape it for me. I run that. Shit. <laughs> just drop the song, my nigga. I hear it and tell you if I like it. Yeah. But so it, that's why it made sense for it to be packed at the end because it's like she's new, mm -hmm. she got new energy, new music. So it made sense for the club to all be there to hear her new shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we didn't even really tell what the movie ended, how the movie ended. We did. Uh, because it just because it, we kind of talked about it, but it ended with uh, it ended with him, I guess, getting arrested because his wife told all the information. They don't, they, I guess, they say that they found the the old assistant. They said that part happened so fast; it was just like a the, they did it through a news report, through the aerial view and a news report of, yeah, they found this girl, this girl, and two other girls. Did they find the nurse too? I mean, the, the uh, 
They found yeah. that the maid too. Ingrid, yeah, they found her. Yeah, she was. She was just laid out, and you know that was the first person they found. They didn't okay. hide her. No, they did. They did hide her. They hide Ingrid. Yeah, she was gone. Oh, okay. Well, shit. You know, okay, so you remember when once she she was knocked out? They talked about what she was gonna do with her. Mm-hmm. Then they knocked out. Uh, then that's when the pimp slap came and knocked out. Uh, <laughs> Big Lurch insane. knocked her ass out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And she woke up in the nightgown, and then she ran to the same spot they found Ingrid. She was gone. Yeah, that's when I thought it was going to get creepy. I was like, oh, shit, this nigga got her in a fucking nightgown and shit. Like, yeah, and he didn't even try wife. nothing in. Yeah, his, his, like, his wife did it, so, yeah. I feel like they could have made his character, like, if, like, don't make him a creep if he's not a creep. Like, yeah, like, and, and um, well, why did you put the nightgown on her? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But not changing the channel, because I, I want to check out some more shit like you know off the first watch i didn't probably catch um right and if, if it was if it was playing just like you said i'll play it i don't know if i'm gonna throw it on on purpose no nah, not like that it's it's a scroll if it's on its own yeah yeah but you know decent movie though i fuck with it he fucks with it yeah but uh su- subscribe if to, you assist uh, if you assist in crazy shit happening and quit you said what you say if you're an assistant and crazy shit like this start happening just quit yeah, nigga, like you know, <laughs> if somebody says, "Hey, the last person doing your job is missing," mm-hmm. leave anywhere, me. anything leave you do, even if you're not an assistant, even if you just going if you to have McDonald's, job. if you had McDonald's flipping burgers, and it was like the last time we seen him was in here flipping burgers, quit. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, tap in with us, subscribe, follow uh, Instagram, Twitter, I'll be uh, on that side. TikTok. What, what, what? That's how I'm trying to. I'll be on this side. Hit the subscribe button. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what side I'll be on. All right, we, y'all. We everywhere, man. Follow us. Uh, say something. We, we talk back. Just don't talk bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.